Hey good people, welcome back to another video where you can turn your self-made skills into a profit. So I have Canva open and I have the Canva Pro account. But in today's video, you actually don't need the Pro account to achieve what we're gonna make at the end of this video. So before I get started, I'm gonna go to Etsy because I wanna find a bestseller and recreate that so that way I can make a profit as well. So on my next screen here, I'm on Etsy and I'm just gonna type in pet portrait. And let's see what pops up. So off the bat, people love their dogs, right? People love their pets. Now, when it comes to a portrait, you really have to figure out what type of portrait is going to be, you know, good to sell. And here are a lot of great examples of literally a person's dog and they made it into a portrait with their name. Like that's super cute. It's very personable. Again, this is a good opportunity for you to sell custom, personalized, you know, um, products on Etsy because these do really well when it comes to sales. Now, in my last video, I touched on how I don't like clicking on the listings on the first row and that's because I don't want to mess up anyone's ad budget so when I'm doing my research I actually go to like the second row where I don't see anyone running ads and that's the listing I click on so we're aiming you know looking at the star and best sellers because let's be honest you know you want to make a profit so you want to see what's already working for a lot of other shops and so I'm actually gonna click on this one because I think that one's pretty interesting. That stands out. This one's really cool because not only is it a star seller, but it's also Etsy's pick. So Etsy has picked this listing as and deemed it as a really great listing. And so, you know, it's gonna get promoted. It's getting good sales, over 32,000 sales. This is pretty cool. So you're probably wondering, how can I recreate this with one click? I don't have all the latest and greatest graphic design, you know, softwares. I'm really new to designing, but I would like to achieve something like this and be able to sell. Well, say less, because now let's jump over to Canva and get this started. And so I am in my personal Canva Pro account. If you're just starting off using Canva, Canva, you're not going to have a lot of the projects you see down here. You're going to have a clean slate where you can start from scratch. Now to get started, all you have to do is go up here to the top right corner and then just select create a design. Now from here, Canva is going to suggest a lot of canvases for you to get started. I feel like when it comes to a portrait, you want to be pretty spot on with the dimensions. So when it comes to resizing and fitting into a frame, you know, your customers or you, you don't have to do all that moving around trying to resize it. But if you already start off with the right dimensions, it's just going to be an easier workflow. So I'm actually going to type in portrait and let's see the options that come up. So I know I don't want anything horizontal. I'm looking for a vertical portrait because that's the vision. That's how we're going to be able to really recreate this bestseller, this star seller, right, um, on Etsy. So as I'm scrolling through, what stands out the best for me is this canvas print portrait, which is 16 by 20. I also feel like this is a standard size when it comes to portraits. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Now I had this open already, so let's go ahead and dive into my next screen here. So on my next screen here, I started off with a blank canvas, and honestly, you guys I just went to Pexels which is free <laughs> and I just typed a picture of a dog I think I did golden retriever or a lab and this is what I decided to use so this is just a regular picture of a dog as you can see I'm gonna zoom in here it's a very nice high quality photo of a dog okay now what you don't see and what it looks like to you is that the background is actually transparent that's actually not true so the background is white I'm gonna change my actual canvas color so that way you can see that the background is white so that way boom you know that this is not a transparent image the key with this design that we're about to create is that you you have to make sure that you do have a background so this is my starting off design right so just just a really high quality picture of a dog, nothing too major. However, we're gonna take this design here and turn it into this design here, all with one click, you guys. I mean, it's super cool. And then it's gonna be so cool to just turn this into a bestseller because all you need is the picture of a person's pet and you can just recreate this. So let's go ahead and get that started. So from my first page here in Canva, I'm gonna have the image selected, which I do now. I'm gonna go over here in my toolbar to edit image and now I'm gonna go to paint effects. Now this is something I recently used and that's why you all see it at the top here. But if you have never used paint effects, then you could just scroll down and you can find it underneath some other effects and it's going to be right here. 
So if you've never used it, you just got to search for it. But if you have used it before, it should be in your recently used menu section. So I'm going to go to paint effects and I'm going to see what options we have. Now, honestly, you could just start clicking on so many because you have to see what it looks like, right? And so this sliding scale here, you get to pretty much control the effect. You can pretty much just like modify it how you want. This one is going to be the mosaic one. So let's see how this looks. There's a lot going on with this one. I'm not really a fan of that, but I can control it if I wanted to. So you can do a low intensity or a low, I guess, level of a mosaic, medium level, and then a high level. So that way you still have the option to kind of change it, even though you can't change it all the way through. You get what I'm saying? So that's one example. I don't like that one, so I'm just gonna cancel. I'm gonna go back to my paint effects here. Now, to achieve this particular portrait look, I actually use the paint effect Wendell or Wendell. Not quite sure how to say that, but I just use Wendell. Now you see how it's pretty, it's a lot of dark, like saturated, you know, colors here. I went ahead to my sliding scale or my controls, and what I did was I actually changed it from medium to low, and after we let that generate, now you're going to see how it's going to match the page at the bottom. And what you can also do here is you can work on this sliding scale. So now you can make the background a little bit more muted, right? But then it still gives you this beautiful portrait of the dog. And I mean, you guys, it was that simple. Literally one click. Now there are some variations that you can add on to if you like. But if you like it as is and you know that you can sell it, boom, do that. But I also just want to, you know, let you know when it comes comes to Canva, be mindful of copyright infringement. So best practice would be to modify a design, especially if it's going to be, you know, coming from a Canva feature, modify that design. So that way you won't be penalized for pretty much selling something that you can't sell. Okay. So you can play with this as much as you want. And I highly recommend that you go in here and work on the settings and just get familiar with Canva's features, because there are a lot of features that are offered on the free version okay so you don't always have to have the pro account so let's move on so we have the picture here and honestly this looks good as is now I'm just going to resize it just for my own liking okay but as you can see here this is exactly what I did for the second page now as you also notice I have a name over here because going back to Etsy they have the pet's names, right? So again, we're adding the personal touch to this particular product, you know, to this uh, future potential bestseller. So you wanna add that same personal touch. So I just added the name, a generic name, Max, and I just put that off to the side so that way it looks more personable. Now this is something you do on your own discretion, but I strongly encourage you guys to modify all your designs, make them your own. You don't wanna just come in here and just be a out of the box type of creator. You know, add something else to it to really make yourself stand out. So, but this is pretty much the gist of it, you guys. Now, once you are happy with your final look from, you know, creating this portrait, all from that one click, right? Because we went into paint effects and we clicked on that feature, which was window. And then as you can see, boom, it changed our picture from the original photo, the original high quality photo to the paint effects and look how cool that is Adobe Illustrator Adobe Photoshop wasn't used okay we didn't have to have all these subscriptions we did this in Canva for free and that is the dopest part about it so moving on if you like what you have here let's just say you want to add the name I will go ahead and download this file now from here you can do honestly whatever you like if you want to let's say provide this for your customer and you just send them the print you can definitely do that. Or if you want to provide this for them in like an actual picture frame, package it up very professionally, you know, so that way they get so much more. And you can also increase your price if you do that, increase your selling price. I would suggest you go over to Printify. If you haven't heard of Printify, this is a print on demand platform where you as the seller, you are just creating a design and you add your design to whatever product you see fit. So I went ahead and went into my Printify account just to play around to see what the this looks like in a framed um, picture frame and so I just added my design from Canva and I go to preview right look how professional this looks in the preview view I mean you can't get any better than that and all it took was finding a picture 
clicking the effects in Canva. You can get this done in under five minutes, okay? Now, of course, add some few modifications, like I mentioned, so maybe add a name, or maybe add like an anniversary when you got your dog, whatever it may be, right? Add that personal touch, because you wanna make sure you stand out so much when it comes to Etsy, and when it comes to breaking through what can look like a saturated market. But all right, good people, that's it for today's video on how to design an Etsy bestseller with just one click using Canva for free. If you guys like this video, please leave a comment and thumbs up for me. But as always, don't forget to subscribe if you are liking the vibe and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye y'all.